the prognosis for this uh, specific patient um, is that we have treatments that are meaningful and helpful, something that we didn't have uh, even five to seven years ago. Um, obviously, the patient has stage four cancer, whether it be pancreas cancer, you know, lung cancer, colon cancer. Um, it's an advanced uh, setting, and our treatments are really to palliate and prolong time. Um, so the prognosis, uh, based on it being stage four, is uh, of concern and, and can be considered uh, poor. Um, but we've got to get over that nihilism of uh, pancreas cancer in particular. Um, we are still benefiting patients with our treatments. We are still getting patients to important anniversaries, birthdays, birth of grandchildren. These are very important events in the lives of our patients and also in the survivors uh, of the, their family, their family members, uh, very important uh, events that still can be achieved uh, by prolonging time and maintaining quality, even though the prognosis is uh, poor, okay? So for this patient, uh, obviously, um, there is uh, metastatic disease, and so we start thinking of systemic uh, treatment, uh, chemotherapy, and uh, that uh, will help the patient. Um, our goals and our patient's goals are to maintain and preserve quality of life. We want to maintain their dignity. Uh, we want to prolong time. Uh, we want to give them more time um, that they may not have had in uh, prior eras when we didn't have as active chemotherapy. And then patients' concerns are regarding side effects. You know, what are the uh, impact of the chemotherapy on my quality of life? Am I gonna be sick in the bed without any quality of life, coming to the doctor every week, or am I gonna be able to function, uh, go to work, um, be able to go on vacation, spend time uh, with my family? These are all very important uh, endpoints uh, that patients have told us uh, are important to them, and uh, it's our, our responsibility to uh, provide uh, those uh, outcomes. The treatment options for this patient, uh, as we discussed, he does have metastatic disease. Uh, he is not a resection candidate. Uh, we need to treat the whole extent of the tumor burden. So chemotherapy in this setting is appropriate. Um, in 2017, uh, chemotherapy involves uh, one of two regimens. Uh, there is the abraxane, nabpaclitaxel, combined with gemcitabine combination. Uh, and then there is the fulfirinox regimen. Uh, gemcitabine uh, combined with the Braxane uh, was shown uh, to be superior to gemcitabine in terms of overall survival. Uh, the toxicities are known and are well managed. Uh, fulfirinox also uh, has been shown to provide, uh, to provide a survival advantage over gemcitabine alone. Uh, remember that we're using full dose 5-FU full dose leucovorin, full dose oxaliplatin and areotecan. So it may be a, a more intense uh, regimen, um, but those are the two standards that are uh, useful or that can be considered for our patient.